Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Mel, and today I'm going to continue painting the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth Reading War expansion using the Army Painter Speed Paints. And I have a super special surprise. So today in the mail, Army Painter sent me the Mega Set. So I'm super excited. We're going to use this today to paint the characters. Thank you so much to Army Painter for sending both the starter set and the mega set. I am so excited to use this. I cannot wait. I was looking at all the colors and trying to think of what I would use them for. So I cannot wait. I'm super excited for that. Uh, hello, hello to everybody watching live and to you watching later. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Yogi says my pre-order of these shipped. Yes, that's awesome. So Yogi ordered the um, starter set which came out on uh, the 19th of February. This mega set comes out on um, March 26th. So that is so awesome that you'll be able to get this. One thing also to note that Army Painter did let us know is that you will be able to pick up individual bottles. Uh, so, you know, when you go to your local game store, if they have a paint stand, they will uh, be selling their individual uh, bottles separately. So if you did run out of a certain color that you like, so if you did get the starter set and you want to just pick up a few additional colors or you want to pick up the speed paint medium, that will be available for, sa for sale separate. You don't need to buy the mega set to get that. Just to let you know. Um, Jess, hello, hello. Brett, hello, yes. Yes, I took over the uh, Journeys in Middle Earth spot. Uh, Kyle was unable to make it today. Uh, he was busy, so I thought well, I can paint Journeys in Middle Earth, so I can take over the uh, or the Lord of the Rings spot. So I took that today for painting. Um, so previously we painted some of the characters. We painted the um, elephant and the towers. So today I want to focus more just on the actual characters of the game. Uh, there is seven of them. We'll see how many we count, how many we can get through today. Um, if there's someone specific that you would like painted, we can try to work on those ones first. Uh, and then we have another painting stream that's scheduled for next week that we will work on just the last few character or the last few enemies that we have left over. Uh, so let's get down to the table. And I will show you, I have not opened this yet this mega set. So I'm going to open this and we'll look at maybe some of the difference, a few uh, of the shades that are in this box that are not in the starter set. Omar, hi. Hello, hello. Comes with these painting guides, uh, which are super handy if you're new. They have um, tips and tricks. Uh, about different colors, priming, about uh, assembling your minis. They usually talk about taking care of your brushes. They have awesome painted mini pictures in here. So uh, these are also, these are really helpful. So it comes with a little um, painting guide. The um, starter set did as well, but it was uh, um, not as big. Oh, let's open this one first. So this one also comes with a brush. I'm gonna look and see if it's the same. comes with a brush and that is it is the same brush that comes in both just if you're if you're curious um, I like these armor army painter brushes it's a nice big brush and then we have all of the different shades of our speed paint so I guess um, let me just look at what this little paper is under this one. I've not opened this yet, so I'm super excited. Oh, if anything is missing, broken. Also tells you how to how to use them. So shaking it before, and then um, just a little instruction paper. So I'm gonna keep both of these just off to the side. Um, I need to purchase a holder for them, but I wanted to quickly look. At the back of the box, which we can also bring this up on the screen if it's if it doesn't work as well with me trying to do it here. I just wanted to show you the different shades and colors that are included in this set. Uh, originally, when I was thinking about painting the characters today, I was going to use some of the speed paints because I only had at the time the starter set and I was going to use a lot of just the Army Painter line of paints. 
to paint the characters because I knew that I wanted to have a variety of colors. But then this showed up at the, at the door today. So uh, instantly I thought, nope, now I have a, a whole variety of colors that we can use to paint these characters. So uh, I'm going to try to stick with the theme of majority speed paints with a mix of army painter paints when needed. So this is really cool. Um, just to show you, this is what comes in the starter set. So you have, you know, you have your basic colors, you know, like a, a pallid bone, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green skin color, uh, light, or uh, crusader skin, leather, and uh, grave, grave lord gray. And then once you get into this, you have more variety in colors. So like we have the two reds, plus we have the orange. We have two different color purples. The browns, you have the dark wood and the leather, which is awesome. Blues, you have a couple different varieties of blues. Green, more more varieties of green, which is awesome because when you're painting orcs or um, dragons and all that, you don't always want them to all look the same. So um, I'm super excited to try out some of these colors and we're gonna see what they actually look like on the paints. And um, what we noticed today as well is you can kind of see that they have the uh, different shades in the actual colors. And, I, and uh, that is it's based on what color you're priming your mini. You can kind of get an idea of what color it'll look like um, from the different shades that are shown on the box. So uh, I'm super excited to try these and we'll uh, experiment and see what some of these colors look like on the minis. We already seen all of the base start, starter speed paints except for the hive purple. I haven't had a reason to paint anything purple. Um, maybe I will once I get to one of the characters. Maybe I'll need um, a cape or something or like a, a shirt or a cloak or something purple. But that's the only color I haven't really explored too much. But I'm excited to see what we can do with these shade, with these speed paints. Uh, also, they do include the uh, speed paint medium. So we can use that for thinning down any paints if we think we need or trying to adjust the colors. So I'm just going to keep that off to the side. <clears throat> Jess says, hello Jess, says I finally painted my two Gloomhaven minis on Sunday. Which ones did, what characters did you choose, Jess? That's awesome. Uh, was that the smaller set, Mel? Yes, so the, uh, let me. So initially I started with the starter set. So this set is now available. Uh, this came out uh, last week in February, February 19th. So this set is available. And again, this comes with, I think, 10. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 10 different colors. It comes with your free brush included. Uh, then this mega set, I think, is, is about 24. 24 colors with a free brush as well. So again, the starter, the starter set is just your basic colors. And then once you get into the mega set, you start getting into different shades of the colors. Uh, also, we now have a white and a black, uh, which is neat. Uh, and then, yeah, you have a couple of your blues and greens and browns and that that you would use normally when painting. So originally I started with the starter set. Now we're mixing both together. So I'm using mega and starter set. Oh, oh Dan says <laughs> VIP Mel gets mega set before I get my starter set. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That I guess depends on where you pre-ordered it from. That's funny. I'm so sorry. But the Mega Set is not available yet. You can pre-order it at your local game store at Army Painter as well. This comes out March 26th, though. So. Yeah, but you can get the starter set out now. Oh, Jess says, Brute and Scoundrel. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, purple is a weird color, right? Yeah, color of kings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got it for Christmas, just getting into it. That's awesome. Awesome, Jess. Okay, so I have, for these characters, I have just the character cards. I'm just going to kind of go off of off of these for painting these characters. And I think just for how easy it is, we're going to start with the bear. So minis have all been primed in matte white. And now I just want to, I'm going to keep this to the side here so I can see all the colors I have available to me. We don't have a nice stand yet. Uh, oh, right here. 
So I'm thinking if we try using the dark wood color um, or the black, we could try the black with some white dry brush on it after, might be nice, or the dark wood. The dark wood might be too light. Yeah, let's try the black. And then we'll do a white dry brush to kind of lighten up the top of his head and maybe like the shoulders and that. And we'll see what that looks like. So I'm just going to keep these in a uh, little package so I don't mess them up. And it says to really make sure to shake these up the first time you use them. So Jess says, I'm a rookie and my minis always seem to come out super dark, but I'll learn. My minis always, when I started, always came out um, like cartoonish, I found, not like natural. And I think that was just the colors that I was using. <laughs> I don't think you're doing anything wrong, no. Prime me in gray is fine, yeah. We prime minis in gray as well. Yeah, if you prime them in white, they'll be lighter for sure, but uh, it'll depend on the colors that you're using. But you're probably not doing anything wrong. Mine always, yeah, mine always look uh, cartoony. Actually, we're doing the whole bear in this, so we'll add a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to do this. Just got to myself started here. Uh, so we're going to use the Grim Black and we're going to put this all over the mini and I'm going to try to just avoid the um, mouth area because the teeth are white um, and just to avoid having to go back over it later I'm going to um, I'm going to try to avoid that area. I'm going to Move some of this stuff here so that we can focus. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just, uh, you want to do, um, you want to do the speed paints all over and you want to make sure it gets in all the creases and crevices. You want to kind of over uh, overload your brush. I'm actually looking at this color and some of these colors are going to be experimental because we haven't, um, we haven't used them yet. And it actually looks very much like the picture. Robert, are you saying he should be brown? I'm just reading everyone else's chats that I'm missing, sorry. Okay, I'm going to hold up for one sec. Uh, to me, he looks like more like a dark bear, but if we think he should be dark brown, I can easily take this stuff off. But the next one that, 100%, okay, okay, we can fix that. To me, it just looked dark. But, okay, we can fix this. Trial and error. Okay. Give me one second. So I'm just going to take some water and quickly rub all this paint off. Because it hasn't dried, so it can easily come off. And we'll start again. To me, my eyes, that look dark. I'm just uh, rubbing all this. That's a great way to start, right? I start painting things incorrectly. Okay. And I'm just going to... Oh, he should be black? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay. Rob is messing with me. I know, right? No, no, no. It's I thought he was black and then I thought that or like a dark color, but then I thought the way that 
Rob's emoji was telling me to do it a different color. Well, anyways, I just was able to show you how to fix it if you do make a mistake. I know, sorry, I totally He's missed the black that. Bear. That's what I thought. And then I thought when you put the brown bear there, I'm like, oh, is he telling oh, me I'm doing it with the wrong color? Jokes between each other. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, anyway, I uh, will continue, but I just want to show you how all I did was put it over my little water cup and I was able to get all of that paint off. So technically, if you mean to say you could start again with these speed paints, which we'll do. We're gonna start again. Okay. I'm not I yeah. Okay, so let's start all over again, sorry. Okay, but I did like that color. Um, I did like that, this, um, this black color. Sorry. I thought I thought he looked like a black bear, but then I thought that maybe my eyes were deceiving me. <laughs> no, he can he can have a say if I if I'm painting something the wrong color, I want him to tell me or someone to tell me. Sometimes things look like yeah, I it's fine. Yeah, he's gonna, he's definitely gonna scare the enemies away when he moves into their space. That's for sure. Somebody's gonna have to play this character, though, in our game. I did not add water to the paint, no. Nope, this is straight out of the bottle for these speed paints. Yeah, what I like about these paints are that they fill in all the recesses and they kind of do the highlight and wash for you in one step. So you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. It's just like a one coat kind of paint. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to be careful around the mouth so that I don't have to redo the teeth because the teeth are already white. And then we can just maybe use a, a, a wash on them to dirty them a little bit so that they're not pure white. But it'll just save time from having to go back.
So this is just after one coat of the Grim Black Speed Paint, obviously still wet. We'll do some uh, details to the inside of the mouth, maybe some eyes, some teeth. We'll like clean up and make his teeth look dirty. Um, we'll do the nails. So we'll do some more details, even maybe the paw. We can do like a little bit of um, a different color on the paw. So yeah, so this guy is good. We're going to just set him off and he can dry. Yeah, Shomar, th this, it's crazy how it does create uh, the highlights and the shades and everything in there in just one single coat of paint. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing product. I, I Yeah. Jess, my hands are probably not m more steady than yours. I swear my hands shake a ton. Um, I'm, when I'm painting something that is more just... Um, I don't know, uh, like when I'm painting fine details, it shakes more. This is just like one base coat over the whole mini so I can be messy and I don't have to be as precise, but okay. Uh, let me grab my little thing. I think we'll do his buddy next, Bjorn. So I have, again, I have my little card just kind of give me an idea of what he's supposed to look like. All right, I will just dry for now. Shomar, these just came out, the speed, uh, the starter set came out on uh, the 19th and the mega set is pre-orderable for uh, late March. So yeah, they didn't have them then, but I'm sure you have other games that you need to paint, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with the skin. And I'm just looking quickly at some options. I think we're going to do, let's try to turn them all so that I can see the names of them. Let's try this Crusader skin. We'll see what color this looks like. It is, that is, Brett's saying that's crazy how fast that was, but I, like, they're called speed paints, and I think they say you should be able to get through minis faster, right, than having to do all the detail. Uh, so this guy, he's ready, minus, we'll do some details on him just to make him look more like a bear, right? You do the nails and all that, but technically you don't have to do anything else. You can just get them to the table. They want people playing with their painted minis faster, right? Everybody, not everybody, but people that paint, they all have piles and piles of games, right? That you're, you need to get through or that you want to paint. Hopefully this will help people get through those games faster. So we're using the Crusader skin. Uh, again, this is not watered down or anything. This is just straight out of the bottle. How long does it take to dry? Um, not long. The, the main bar, I can leave it actually on this, so in case I want to hold it up. The main area is dries pretty quick. You can see even here, um, you can see like the top of his head is starting to already dry, but you can see mainly in the recesses of the, of the fur is where it's still wet. So that would, uh, I don't know, we can kind of watch, but you can see in areas where it is already dry because it is thin, so, but you can just see where it pools, it takes a little bit longer. Um, I do have a fan that I can use to dry them, but right now I'm just gonna leave them here for now. So I don't know exactly, I've, I'm not actually timed it, but I don't know. 
less than half an hour, I would say for sure. Oh, I was going to leave it on this. Yeah, less than half an hour. If you have heavy pooling areas, maybe you want to leave it a little bit longer, but. Okay, so we're, yeah, sorry. We're using the Crusader skin. We're going to see what this color looks like. Um, I'm just going to use somewhat of a smaller brush. I think in the first stream that I used these paints, I was able to paint like one of one of these minis. I can't remember exactly if it was this one um, in less than 20 minutes. So I can't remember if it was it that one exactly using these speed paints. that off I think so that it focuses on this yep Let's upside down for one second. Sorry, just to...
Okay, I think his skin is good to go. Just like quickly look and see if there's any little spots under that I missed. Um, one of the things with the speed paints is that when you go back over the speed paint, once it's dry, it can uh, reactivate the layer underneath, which can cause maybe not the exact look you're going for. So I try to, before I finish with the color, just kind of glance and see if there's anywhere that I missed before it dries. So I'm not reactivating any paint. That looks good. And then for hair, he has very, very dark hair. So I think what I want to do is I want to use that dark wood color for the hair. That'll let us see what this color looks like as well. Sorry, and just quickly, as I'm doing this, reading through some of this, if anything is for me. Oh, Jess, you were asking about mixing colors. Yes, we did mix colors in the last video, and you can, and they seem to work no problem. Um, we mix some, um, we mix some of like the pallid bone into the brown to make it lighter. We made um, some different color greens. That, yeah, here's an example. We mixed some different color greens together. I think we put some yellow into this green. This is it right out of the bottle. And then mixing it with some yellow, you get that kind of orc skin color. So yes, you can do that. Oh yeah, and Rob is saying, we were talking about at the beginning of, of the stream that uh, they will be having a display where you can buy just pods. So if you buy the starter set and you want maybe one or two uh, additional colors, or if you buy a set and as everyone knows that paints, you're going to go through paints at different um, different rates, right? So you might go through like a brown faster than you're going to go through like a purple. So you may want to pick up uh, a pod by itself, a uh, bottle by itself. You will be able to do that. Um, also, the speed paint medium, you will be able to pick that up as well uh, individually, which is great. Jess, thank you so much. Good job, Mel. Keep up the great work and thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you, thank you. No problem. Uh, I did the first the first of uh, the paint series with the speed paints and then and then I thought, well, let me do a few more because I hadn't got to some of the ones that people were asking for in the stream. The elephant, uh, which we did in the last one. Um, the elephant and the uh, these little towers. So then I did that in the last one, and then I thought, oh, Kyle's not coming today. Let's throw that in uh, to do the characters and for today, take over the Tuesday Lord of the Rings spot. And then we have already scheduled next week where hopefully I'll finish up. I have a few more of the warriors and the orc guys that I'll finish up hopefully in that one, and then we'll be all ready to play this game. So, yeah, thank you for watching. So, draw hello. All right, so we're going to start with the dark wood and we're gonna see what this looks like on the uh, hair and beard. Oh, Brett, that's so funny. You haven't seen Rob smell the fresh paint. Rob did smell the box when it came in. He can tell you how it smells, I guess. Oh, he answered there, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, Jess, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, haven't had a chance to catch me live yet. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. All right, so let's see what this color looks like. This is the dark wood. Oh, I can already tell that this color is going to get some good use. I like it.
kind of go very carefully around the mouth. I'm going to use a different brush for the eyebrows and mustache because I uh, try to be a little bit more careful for that area. So one of the brushes that I picked up uh, the other day was this uh, Army Painter Super Detail Brush. It is uh, zero, zero, 050. Zero. So I'm going to use that for around the hairline and the mustache and eyebrows and that just so that I can uh, be a little more precise and not make a mess. Jess, you were talking about my shaky hands and once one thing that's really funny is that when I first started I painted because I I do have shaky hands I painted every mini that I had with a brush that was like maybe just a tiny bit bigger than this so even if I was painting this bear I would paint it with like a brush that's this size it would take me forever because I was so afraid to go outside the lines uh, Chris is asking a question. Sorry. Uh, are these minis the same quality as the base game and other expansions? I would say yes. I would say they're almost, almost identical to me. Yes. And also, and Dan, you were asking about drawing. So now this has been sitting for a few more minutes and we can see that to the touch, it's dry. Uh, I would be comfortable to start putting details in that on him now, even in those recesses. We can see there's no real pooling, uh, even under, yeah. So that was another 10 minutes from when, probably when you asked, so. Yeah, it did take me a long time. I would, I think I probably painted with a brush, maybe I with something like this, but even so, this is probably, yeah, like a double zero or triple zero I would use because I was so scared to color outside the lines. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to that uh, Crusader skin and just a little spot that I missed. just on the hairline. Yeah, these are not the same quality as Mansion of Madness minis. No, these are definitely the same, I would say the same quality as the Lord of the Rings minis that we, we've been using for all the other games and expansions. The Mansions of Madness minis are terrible. Yes, these are not that. Okay, now I'm just gonna try to do as carefully as I can these eyebrows. Doing this on camera is probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh, 
at one larger eyebrow than the other. That's fine. When he's at the table, you won't notice. <laughs> Maybe I can even try to fix it with some white paint later, but we'll see. All right, so that is the hair. I'm just going to, we could, uh, so it looks like, it looks like his uh, clothes are like a lighter brown. So for that, I'm gonna go for the hardened leather. This one can be found in both sets. I like this color. Jess is saying, did I miss new Lord of the Rings Journeys of Middle Earth game release? This one is the Spreading War expansion. We have not played this one yet. Uh, we're currently playing through the Haunting of Dale. Um, think, think we have one more, uh, which I believe is already scheduled on the channel. These are so, so hard to get off at first. Um, it's, it's already scheduled on the channel if you want to set a reminder for that. But uh, we have not started this campaign yet. Okay, so we're doing the hardened leather for this one, or for the uh, clothes. What I'll do is I'll leave the, the uh, rope belt, and we'll probably do the rope belt in the same color as the hair, just so that it differentiates the... Um, outfit and then it looks like he has a little uh satchel uh so we'll um do something with that maybe we'll try like the one of the other colors one of the new colors I'm gonna hold them upside down for one sec just to do um, all of the under the, um, I mean, he's kind of wearing a dress. All of the under, under parts of it that I can't reach. Okay, and then we did the same on the upper half. brushes every time.
Okay. So I already have the uh, dark wood from the hair. So we're going to use that on the belt. And I'm going to use that on the rope bracelet that he has around his arm as well. Okay, and then just quickly around the arm as well. Okay, I'm going to do the handle for the axe in the same color that I did. Craig, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to do the handle in the same color as we did the uh, outfit. So the hardened leather for the handle. For the axe. Greg says, sorry if I had spoken on this, but this would be my first time painting miniatures. Is speed paint the way to go? I think there is no wrong way to go. Once you start painting, it's like an evolution, right? You start small, you learn, you build on the skills. These speed paints are definitely a great starting point. Um, I can show you just like a few of, so this is one of the minis that we painted in the last one. This is hundred almost 100% speed paints, no real washing except maybe on the gold because there wasn't a gold. Um, but like you can see like on this elephant, like it fills in all the recesses. You don't have to do the wash. You don't have to do the highlight. You can do a dry brush if you want. And we have tested that on some other minis, but you don't have to. Um, it's like a one coat and you're done. This is one of the other ones. So like it filled in all of the um, markings in the wood and the imperfections in the wood. Um, so I definitely think this is a good place to start. Uh, you likely will also want to pick up a, uh, white, a gray and a black. The white I say, because if you are priming your minis in white, so all of our minis are primed in matte white, you, if you're going to use a speed paint, you need to have a similar color. So if you make a mistake, you can go over it. So you, so you, if you're painting in matte white, you'll want like a white paint um, to go over any mistakes because the speed paints, the light ones will not cover a, mis a mistake of 
a, a dark mistake. So if I accidentally splattered some of the brown on the satchel and I want to paint it like yellow, you'll see that mistake through. Some of the darker colors will cover a lighter color. That's no problem. But so you might you might want to pick up a white for fixing any kind of mistakes. Uh, I also like to have a black and a dark gray for any kind of bases. So I usually do most of my bases are done in um, this one has to be like a second coat. Still need to send. But uh, I like to do most of my bases in a gray or a black. So I think my suggestion would be if you are going to pick up the speed paints, you want to get a similar color to whatever you're going to be priming with for mistakes and then a basing color, a black or a, um, a very dark gray. That would be my suggestion if you're starting. You can also just leave your bases white. But again, if you make any mistakes, you're going to have to go over with the white um, to fix that. So that would be my suggestion, but uh, definitely these spe speed paints are a great starting point. And I, and I have painted this whole expansion just using that. And I have painted it much faster uh, than I would have if I was painting them with regular paints. Because again, I'm a slow painter and I'm still new at painting. So I think these are definitely helping me. One of the things that I talked about, sorry, one of the other things I talked about in one of the other videos is that I think these speed paints are going to help me to figure out where I need to highlight and where I need to shade and all of that. So I can see in this mini where it's kind of like highlighting under the kneecap and the uh, calf muscle and things like that. So I will start to see that as I use these speed paints. So then eventually, if I want to actually shade with colors, so I want to like thin down the same color I use to then shade and, and make that muscle definition or the fabric look like a shadow, I'd be able to do that. So I think these are going to help me see things that I wouldn't have seen or I, I don't know. And I'm learning through painting. So uh, I definitely think it's definitely it's a it's a good place to start. Yes, but you'll need a few things as well as the, the starters, uh, the speed paints. That's my suggestion. But again, uh, you could start with the speed paints and just see how you how you go. And I would get again uh, just like a white. And those you can usually just pick up individually. I'm going to do the uh, the rope around the axe part with that, uh, with the um, dark wood color. Yeah, Jess, you're 100% right. These speed paints are definitely speeding up my paint time for sure. And for me, I don't think going forward, I don't know that I'm going to use them on every single game and every single mini. So for this example, I'm doing the whole game using these speed paints. But in the future, I don't know that I'm going to do that because not every game, this is going to be the look I'm going for. But I definitely see that they will be a tool in my toolbox or my selection that I can select from when painting, which is great. Oh, Brad, thank you, thank you. Jess, you don't need to be jealous. I'm sure yours are, are awesome. I would love to see them too if you post them in the Discord. Okay. For the axe itself, I'm going to use, this is just from the Army Painter Metallics line. This is just Shining Silver. So this is not part of the speed paints, but I don't think there's any, mm, no. I want like the whole metal, metal look, so. Even with these speed paints, I still think I'm a slow painter. I'm sure somebody else sitting beside me doing the same minis would have been faster than me.
Okay, and then let's do, just for fun, I'm gonna do, because I also wanna see what, what it looks like. Uh, Jess, oh, thank you for posting them. No one will laugh. You will probably get so much praise. Nobody's gonna laugh at you. I've always said, and I Rob always says it now too, is that um, minis painted at all look way better than the gray plastic that come in the box. So I'm sure they look great. Oh, you say that you have a neck injury and cannot look down for long periods of time. So these paints might help me get through um, managing your pain. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But yes, likely they will. Um, yeah, painting you can get uncomfortable, right? After a while, if you don't move and stretch. So I'm going to, sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to use this uh, sand golem. I want to um, see what this looks like, like a light sand, just to do his... Um, Natural. I don't want it to be like super bright, like gold or yellow or anything. So we'll see what this color looks like. Also get to experiment with some of these colors so that I know for future minis what it's going to look like. Okay, he is good to go. Yeah, we'd much rather play with painted minis now too. It's very rare that we paint, play with anything unpainted. Okay, so now we have these two guys done. Actually, we'll probably put them right here so we can watch the process. Uh, next. Who we got next here? Hmm. All right, let's do this elf. I think this is probably the character that Rob would like to play. Oh yeah, I didn't really uh, do a, like a thin of him. So you guys can see like up close. Don't laugh at the eyebrows. They're a little bit funky, but you know, he hasn't got them done for a while. Um, as I hold it up closer to the camera, I can see a few white spots that maybe I'll try to fix. Where it looks like a... Looks like I missed. Actually, let me just hold it upside down for one second. So I just am going to fix the handle. The rest of the white spots are not terrible. Brett, you're so right. Brett says, uh, if you buy a car, people people will be like, you should have bought a truck. Yep, exactly. Who cares what people think? Enjoy. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jess, for killing your wallet in between the expansions and the paint. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're going to paint this elf, who I think will be a character that Rob's going to want to play. So let's get this elf painted up. So it looks like we have some dark hair. We have the white of uh, the blouse underneath. So we'll try to avoid those areas when painting. It looks like we have like a green with some maybe red pants on and we have some gold accents. So Okay. That is the same one, right? Yeah. She's got her bow and arrow. Okay. 
So it looks like her outfit is slightly different, so we're just going to use this as inspiration. Uh, right as a question, Mel and Rob, does it matter if you get the expensive spray paint or cheap for priming? Um, our favorite that we have been, been getting lately is the, um, uh, army painter ones. And I think that's just because that's a decent price at our local hobby store. Um, but... I don't think it matters. I don't do any of the priming, so I'm not really the best person. We've had a few where they haven't turned out the best, but I think that was more so the paint can and storage itself. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a great answer for you on that because Rob does all of the priming. Dragon, good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to try something here. So, um... I can find what I'm looking for. I need to organize these. Okay, I'm gonna try something here because I have an idea. So um, if I'm looking, it looks like her skin is a little more paler than um, what we've done on this guy. Maybe not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that same um, crus Crusader skin, but I'm gonna put a drop or two of this pallid bone in it just to lighten it slightly. Just so we get like a slightly uh, different shade of skin, of uh, the Crusader skin. It looks like she's a little bit paler than the dwarf that's been outside in the mountains. So I'm just going to actually add it to my same well that had this in it. I'm just going to add two drops of this pallid bone to lighten it slightly okay. she doesn't have much skin exposed so we're just going to do the face ears and hands for her I'm going to flip it under just so that I can do under the neck as well. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, and she's not wearing any kind of gloves or anything, so... Some of the angles on these minis are so interesting Just to hold them in funny ways. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more on the chin, it looks like.
Okay, just got a little bit extra in the eye socket, so I'm just going to try to remove that by dabbing my brush in there and just wiping it on the paper towel. Okay. I want to say, actually, for the hair, we could probably do the same hardened uh, or dark wood because it's very dark. Actually, we could probably even do, I don't know if I have, no. You know, let's do, let's do the black. So the grim black for the hair because she does have very, very dark, dark hair, almost black hair. So I'm just going to put that in the same, same well. So again, using the grim black. Now I did not do the ears yet, but I will in a second. I just wanted to do uh, the hair in case I made a mistake and I need to go over it with the white. Um, it'll be just easier for me to do the ears after I've already done this part. In case I make any mistakes. Violetta, hello. Dale, hello. Uh, Dale says, I'm late to the part the painting party. Well, better late than never. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, have you used Citadel contrast paints before too? Just curious. I have not. So I don't have anything to compare to, unfortunately. Uh, there is a bunch of videos on YouTube actually of people comparing using the same models. So painting one in contrast and one with the um, speed paints. I don't have any experience, 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 excuse me, with that because I never use the contrast paints, unfortunately. A little small areas in this one. Okay. And then just going to make sure I got all around the face. So that it's even. And then we'll, we'll do the ears. Don't really think I need to add white to them because it doesn't look like I touched them inadvertent, inadvertently. So we'll just take that mix that we made, same that we used for the face, and we'll just quickly So one thing with the speed paint, so um, one thing with the speed paints is if you're using another color around the same color, probably should let it dry. So I didn't do that in this case. And as we can see, the black is bleeding into the ear from the hair. So I'm just going to clean that out and then I'm going to have to leave it for a second to dry before I do the ears, which probably would have been smart. So it doesn't take the uh, surrounding color and mix it in. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do is we're going to just leave that for now. Yeah, we're going to leave that one for now and let that dry a little bit. And I'll come back to that in a second because I don't want them to bleed together. So we'll just leave that. All right. So it looks like. Looks like we need a green ish color for her. Um, top. I think I'm going to go with this camo cloak, which looks like a very similar color to that green. Once I find it. Oh, Dale, that's Dale says, um, I'm already invested in the contrast paint, but we'll probably pick up some of these to fill in the gaps in colors not offered by Citadels. Minis look great. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Army Painter did say that they will be selling all of their paints separate. So when you go to uh, your hobby store, or local game store, they will have a rack and you'll be able to pick up just the colors that you're looking for. Okay, so we're going to use this camo green. I'm just going to look at the base or the mini quickly and see um where the lines are and everything just before i start okay so we're again we're gonna leave the sleeves white so i'm gonna try to avoid the sleeves if i um uh, if i make a mistake and i get on there we're just gonna use the white to fix that so that's okay uh jess says i'm off to make dinner everyone have a great evening morning whatever time of day or it is thanks mom jess thank you so much thank you for the super chat thank you again for all of the um, conversation. Awesome. Awesome. Glad you were here. Okay. So we're going to take that camo green or camo cloak, sorry, which is like a green color. We're going to see what this looks like once I put on. I'm going to start with the back of the mini. John B. Hello, John. How are you? I was going to try to leave the color white, but I'm going to actually do it this green just for my sanity of not having to try to make it perfect. I don't know if I'm the only one that holds my mini in all strange ways trying to get every single angle and weird crevice. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so that is her, let's call it a vest. It's her vest. Okay. Oh, John says, after watching the last painting video, I ordered the master set and I'm looking forward to it. John, special surprise I received. I got the uh, oh, mega set in the mail today. Thank you again, Army Painter, for sending that over. So, yeah, I think you're going to love it. So the uh, the variety of paints is amazing. Yeah, we've been trying some new colors out today. Loving what's included in the set so far. Loving it. Yanji, hello, hello. Dragon, that is huge. Yeah, I look at my mini so much and I'm like, okay, I'm like, you're almost like blocking different areas of like what's what in the mini, especially some of these minis. So this one here, this has lots of, like you can see it has um, like a, a purse strap that I've already colored in the wrong color, which fine, I'm gonna go back and fix that. But I thought it's easier to be messy but she has like um, on her pants, she has these I, knives, I think. And then we have uh, her arrows and her purse and like different color shirts and that. And there's a lot of stuff going on. So I do spend half of my time just looking at the mini going, is that part of that? Is that part of their shirt? I'm not really sure. So yeah, I do the same thing. Okay, so for the, uh, for the pants, Looks like it's like a red or an orange. So I want to try one of the new, I have blood red, but we have a few new reds now. So I think I'm going to try the, I think we're going to try the slaughter red. I also want to just see what it looks like. So uh, try this slaughter red and see what that looks like. We're just going to do that on the pants. And then it looks like her boots are almost like a brownish gold so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but. Okay, so we're using the slaughter red just on the pants. This may be too red, but. When we're streaming, sometimes having vibrant colors is fine. Yeah, this is, I think, a different color red than I would have liked, but that's okay. We're going to roll with it. Oh, she has two purses or three purses, I see.
The red looks so good though. Yeah, it's not what I was going for. I wanted more of an orange, but that's fine. I think it, I think it looks good. I think it'll also dry a lot more um, muted so it won't be so vibrant. Even so, I mean, she's wearing, she's wearing red pants, so it's fine. It, it, it'll, it'll work and it's not overpowering, but I can see other places that I'm going to love this red color. Almost looks like a, um, like a blood that you'll be able to use. But I do like it, yes. So far, I've been impressed with every one of these speed paint colors. I can get in between all of the knives. Okay. Yeah. Kanji, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Uh, Kanji says, Mel made me buy, oh, hashtag, Mel made me buy speed paint set. Uh, now, Top Ramen is, sorry, Top Ramen this month. Great work as always. Sorry. Sometimes with the hashtags, it's hard to figure out where the word stuff. That's so funny. That is so funny. Which one did you buy, Kanji? The Mega or the Starter? Um, Thank you so much. That's very sweet. You're gonna eat ramen, but you just you just donated five dollars. You're very sweet. Thank you very much. I could have bought you some a good amount of ramen, probably like a twenty four pack. Okay, so that's the pants. I like those. I'm gonna go with. I don't want to go with a gold boot. I want to go with um like a, a light brown. Hmm. I don't think I want, maybe that hardened leather will be okay. You know what? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same color. It's hard to really tell the difference on here, but the color that I used for the satchel, which was the sand. So I'm going to use this uh, sand golem for the, for the boots. Uh, this is one of the biggest problems that I have with the speed paints. This is mega nice. So you have to wait a little bit longer. I'm sorry, but it, it's worth it. It's definitely, I've been having a lot of fun trying them out today. But one of the biggest things I notice is I put them in my little pods. And then some of them, I don't know what colors these were. So that's the only thing that I have noticed. But what I've done when I'm painting and I'm not streaming is I'll take them and I'll kind of like place them beside. So I'll have like my ring of my paints with speed paint. So if I have to go back to a color or I'm like, oh, I like that on this character. Um, I want to use that for this one. I know which well it was. Some of them I can tell, but some of them they do kind of, it is hard to tell. Like I can tell that this one's green, obviously, but th this one and this one are very similar. One is maybe brown. One might be this the Crusader skin and I can't really tell. So <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the things that I do as uh, when I'm when I'm using the off stream is just kind of make like a little um, circle around my set. So in this case, I have to start a new one because I don't know where that was. And what's what I've noticed with this is uh, a little goes a long way, even though you are putting a lot on the mini, you you don't need to put a lot in your in your palette, which is good. And I'm even putting too much. Yeah, this is a good color because this is kind of like the brownish goldish color that I was thinking. Oh, sorry back on so we can see what ones I'm using at the time.
I like this color. It's called sand golem, but I feel like it's more of a brown than a sand. I know sand is brown, but um, yeah. Okay, boots are done. So I'm going to go back, which I'm pretty confident is this one. I'm going to go back to the ear that I had to wait on. Now that that area is dry. We won't get that bleed through from the hair. Okay. So again, we're leaving the sleeves white. I'll touch those up in a minute. I think we're gonna work on, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use that same sand, uh, same sand golem, and I'm gonna do the uh, holder of the knives that color. I'm pretty sure these are knives. Okay, and then, okay, so for the bow, let's try, try something new. Hmm. Not real, oh, you know what? For the holder, we're gonna try this Cloudburst Blue. Maybe. No, no, we're not. Change my mind. I'm going to use the hardened leather. Yeah, I'm going to use the hardened leather for the uh, purse strap as well as the holder of the arrows and the, um, the bow itself. And then maybe I'll use that sand color as well for the arrows themselves. And then we'll use a, a colored, I don't know, one of the new colors for the... Um, I don't know what those are called, like the feathers that are on the top of the arrow. Okay, so we're gonna use hardened leather. And I'll do... Okay. And I'm going to do all the straps that are same color. OK. 
Okay, but before I do the straps in the front, because I went over them with that green, I just want to quickly go over that with a white, bringing it back to that matte white color, because if I go over it with the, the brown over the green, we're still going to see that green through, and I don't want that. So just using some of the Army Painter Matte White. I'm just going to fix those little errors. I'm actually going to use the detail brush for this because I don't want to get on the uh, shirt or the vest at all. So have a little bit more control. Okay. Okay, while that is drying, I'm just going to start on the belt that's attached to the knives. I'm actually just going to do the whole satchel this color. And I think she has three. There's some that are underneath the arm as well. She has some on this side as well. So I'm just going to do them all that. And then I can just see underneath where I just missed some of the green. So I'm just going to go back with the camel cloak. And we'll fix some of the missed spots underneath. Some. Okay, and then we're going to also use that hardened leather on the bow itself. I'm actually kind of thinking of doing the arrows in like a dark wood.
Okay. I'm going to do the handles of the knives using that grim black that we used previously for the hair. And I'll do one side as like a handle and the other side as a metal. And then the arrows. Mm -mm. I want to use, I'm going to use, yeah, I want to use the dark wood. So I'm going to use that for the arrows. And again, I don't know if that's one of the wells. So we're just going to put a little dollop again. Okay. And then I'm just going to go around where they are, where the arrow would be showing that the wood part. And then... Okay. This is where I think I will use that uh, cloud burst blue, and I'm just going to use it on the tips of the arrows. It's almost going to look like a gray, I think, because it's very dark. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for the arrow that's in her hand. Um, but again, for this one, I'm going to use the uh, detail brush because I don't want to mess up the hand if I can.
There we go. So I'm just going to do the metal on the knives. And then I'm going to try one thing that is included in this set. So it does come with a um, holy white. So I'm going to use that over the sleeves that we want white because I want to see what this will do in the recesses and what that will look like. So I'm just going to quickly use the shining silver that we already have out that we used for the axe just quickly on the blades of the knives. And then we're going to use the holy white on the sleeves of the shirt. Because I would like to see what that's going to look like. They're always, they're always on so tight at first. Like it like indents my finger to try to, you can see to try to and if this turns out a little bit gray ish that's fine too it doesn't have to be perfect i just want to see what this is going to do Okay, see if I can make it bigger. There we go. So obviously a lot of it's still wet, but she's pretty much good to go. I was noticing that there's a few accents I might do, like I might darken the straps that are uh, around uh, the bag that's holding the arrows. And she has some buckles on her purses. I think I'll put maybe like a gold accent or something on that but I'm gonna wait till that's dry and then I'm gonna see what that looks like but that one is good once she's dry so there's our so far three characters done ish they're not like fully but we're getting there next let's see Okay, we are going to do this little lady dwarf next. Oh, Brett's is excited uh, when my set of paints show up. Brett, what did you order? So this is kind of the picture that I'm going off of for her. Uh, so we're going to go with... So it looks like she has a red, red sleeves, but like a brown dress, light brown, maybe a darker brown of a cape. Okay. And then she's holding the club. Okay. So 
Let's start with, I think we're going to go again with the uh, Crusader skin. We're going to go with this one straight out of the pot or the bottle. Oh, Elaine says, this looks nice. I'll be buying the mega set when I can. Uh, don't tell the other half. Will not. And hopefully I didn't just say that out loud. And they heard. <laughs> awesome. Yes, again, for anybody that is joining later, uh, today Army Painter sent me the mega set in the mail. So we've been using it, testing out some different colors on these characters uh thank you thank you thank you again to army painters uh for sending that over to us so excited to try these out and try these different colors and the different shades of colors uh, i've been loving it so far okay so we're just gonna do the skin that's exposed we have face hands and that's it she got shoes on so no feet in the photo you can see your feet are exposed but again it's slightly different Oh, Brett says, waiting for the local game store to get the starter set. Yeah, the shipping and handling is ridiculous um, if you don't go with your local store. Yeah, it can be like that for sure. Um, Stuart says, your minis look good. Do you do any highlighting? I For these minis, I have not. I've just kind of left them as is, uh, more so to see what these speed paints can do by themselves. Um, I may, I may, we'll see. But I have not. These are just the like, for example, this is just straight out of the bottle mini uh, speed paints. The bear we're going to do a little bit, obviously, to uh, the inside of his mouth and the paw and the nails and stuff. Get to that soon. And then she's the one we just did. Yeah, these speed paints are awesome because it just puts all of the shading in for you. So. Oh, okay, good, good. I didn't spoil it. Good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, Army's, Army, paint, Army Painter's model with these speed paints is that they're table ready quickly. Um, it's like one coat and done. So that's kind of how they're how they're advertising it, which I definitely agree and kind of how I wanted to show them off that just one one coat of the speed paint and you're ready to play with them uh, as you get your sets or as you buy just specific paints when they come out by themselves, um, you can ex experience and um, try different things and experiment. Sorry, experiment is the word I was trying to say. You can experiment with different things and shading and adding washes. I, we did try to add a wash to one just to see if it would darken a color, which it did. Um, and you can add washes to certain areas. Uh, so as I continue to paint with these, I will continue to experiment and try different things and see what kind of looks we can get. Okay. Oh, Elaine says, by the way, I have 13 hour days at work right now. Such a relaxing thing to do watching someone paint. That's very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know if it would be boring, uh, but people seem to 
they they don't mind so if you guys want to watch i will continue to paint next one is scheduled for monday he's watching paint dry well are you kind of watching paint dry isn't that kind of what you're doing here <laughs> i'm gonna use the hardened leather sorry for the club and i'm gonna use the same hardened leather for her shoes might i'm i'm debating actually after i do the shoes and the club to maybe mix in a drop or two of the black to darken that or maybe i just use the dark wood on the hair she has a similar dark hair to bjorn i feel or flintstone club Okay, and then I'm just going to do the shoes in that same color. Being completely messy, but... That's all good. Okay. I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to need that hardened leather again. So I'm just going to put that off to the side so I remember where that is. But I am going to use the dark wood for her hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marcy says you're like the board gamers Bob Ross. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Okay, so we're using the dark wood. I'm going to do that on her hair. She has dark curly hair. Will accidents. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Shomar, I, I know Rob and I were talking as well for we need some dates from you of when you want to play next. If you want to send them to Rob. If you still want to come over and play with us. Okay. Oh, Matthew, thank you so much. Hello, hello. Okay, so now we're going to try... I don't want to have the same, the same um, red pants that, that we did for this girl. But let's see what other reds we have. Blood red or... Fire Giant Orange. Hmm. Do 
blood red or fire giant orange. It's not really orange. It's not really blood red. I wonder if I mix them. I just want to look different. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to put like a drop of both. I don't want it to be like blood red or fire orange, but maybe like a little bit in between both. And this is on, looks like just her sleeves, actually. Yes, this is what I'm looking for exactly. I'm going to do this as well in between all of the crisscrosses of her dress, which is going to be a different color. So it looks like this is the shirt that's underneath. Oh, RC says, love that mix. Make the whole dress that color. I can. And we could just do the cape a different color. Yeah, because, like, look, I mean, these are just guides, right? We don't have to be exact. Yeah, it looks like, like, the bottom half is, like, a different kind of wood. But we can definitely do the whole dress that color and then do, um, like, a brown or whatever this kind of color is on the cape, which almost, again, it's hard for me to tell. Sometimes it almost looks like it's blue or gray. But we can do the whole dress that color. Or, you know what we can do? Oh, you know what it is? I think the whole dress is that color when I look at... Let me see if I can hold it up close enough. It looks like she actually is wearing like an apron or something if I look off to the side. So we'll do the whole dress the color, but the apron will do the same color as the cape. Sorry, I'm like all over the place here. Yeah, we will do that. White Rabbit, hello, hello. I remember, yes, yes. Oh, I remember who you are. Yes, yes, yes. Life got away of the life got in the way of the hobbies. That happens. Yep. Uh, enjoyed the playthrough of role player adventure. And yes, watching you paint is very relaxing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad you are um, back and able to enjoy some of your hobby time.
flip it up again. I didn't even put anything on the brush that time. Okay, and then we'll do the top portion as well. Definitely always faster too when you can, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't even see that. When you can do a whole section of the mini in the same color. We'll go back, I think, to the straps to try to make them a different color after. And just under the arm. That side, and I can see if, however far I can get my brush in here. Okay. And then we're going to use, maybe we'll do a gray actually instead. We're doing lots of browns on some of these. I think I'll do I think I'll do the Grave Lord Gray for the cape and the uh, and the apron. I have also started adding them to my wheel so I remember what color is which now. So like around them, I, I have, uh, <clears throat> so I have it like this off to the side so I can see what color is in which pod. If I want to go back. Okay.
and then I'm going to do the apron inseam. needs to dry obviously still but oh look I missed some of the shoe <laughs> I will fix that so that was the hardened leather so I'll just What I saw there. Okay. Uh, so no wet palette for this paint. No, I've been using for the speed paints. I've been using the just the plastic palette for the speed paints. I do have. Oh, here I do have a wet palette ready in case I was using any of the regular paints. But uh, so far, other than metallics and a little bit of white, I haven't really needed to. So I haven't haven't really used it yet. But um, I'll pull out the wet palette. I think when I do the bases and I do the gray. Um, because especially because I will seal it up and I'll be able to use it for another mini that I paint later or more bases for other minis that I was painting on the weekend that I have not based yet. She's done. I feel like that was fast for her. I feel like. Oh. Slid off the screen, sorry. These are the characters we've painted tonight so far. That's crazy, crazy how fast this is. Okay, I have three more. Uh, before I get to the next one, I'm just going to quickly run to the washroom and I'm going to quickly refill my water. Um, but I will be right back and then we will do, we have uh, three remaining. So we'll do one of these three. I think I might do this character next. So um, I will run to the washroom and I will be right back.
Okay, I am back. I am back. So, just looking at what I got here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the character that we're going to do next. So again, looks like brown, some grays. A lot of the colors are similar in, in, in this game for the between all the characters. Looks like we have like again uh, dark brown hair. We got a nice shield that we can do something cool with. And all right. So let's do just look in. Hmm. We're going to do, um, for the skin, we're going to do a little bit of a mix. We're going to do the uh, dark wood, and then we're going to put a few drops of the uh, pallid bone in it. Chris says, I'm going to get a Citadel holder, save so much time. Uh, you mean like one of the, these don't have any names on like one of these kind of holders, right? Is that what you mean? Yeah, I have, um, I have three of them. I have three of the small ones. And then I have one that I got for large minis, like big monsters, dragons, all those that don't fit in these ones. But it's cool because these do have multiple sizes, right? So you can put it on the smallest size on this in, inner size, or you can also stretch them out. So th these hold pretty much most minis until you get into the bigger, um, I think it even held like these ones, it held these bases. Uh, it's until you get into like the bigger rounder ones that you need these bigger ones. But yeah, I do like them. They help with hand cramping. Um, you can also use uh, sticky tack on like pill bottles or um, wine corks, things like that. Anything that will make it so you don't have to hold this like little mini by the base. Okay, so for exposed skin, we just have the face. I'm just looking to see if it looks almost like she's wearing a glove. Yeah, it looks like she's wearing gloves. So we just have just skin, uh, just face and ears, so. I love the detail of the hair of this mini. I don't know if you can see, but it's braided. We'll see if you can. You can see the texture in the hair that it's actually looks like it's braided. The mini looks awesome. This looks like a character I might want to play. Okay, and then just getting some of the excess out of the eye sockets. I have like a splotch on it. Okay. 
Oh, maybe I had white on that brush. I don't know. Okay. And then for the hair, she has nice dark hair, so. Doing the same color hair for all of them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix in just a little bit of uh, the zealot yellow. Give it more of like a dirty brown kind of look. Yeah, once we once I do the hair with the speed paints, I think it'll look even better. Running out of wells here, so for my mix, I'm just gonna use this one off to the side. So I'm gonna use the uh, dark wood with just a few drops of the yellow to give the dirty, like you know, like the dirty blonde kind of effect. So it's still dark, but. It won't look exactly the same as the other two with a similar color hair. Hopefully. And again, I didn't do her ears yet. Uh, again, because if I make a mistake while doing the hair, I can easily go back with the white and fix it, but, um, just easier to kind of try to avoid. Just trying to look at where the hair stops. Yeah, the hair all textured looks really cool. I do under, but. And I'll just carefully go right along the hairline. So it's all blended in. Okay. We'll let that dry a little bit before I do the ears so we don't have any of the bleeding from the uh, pooling around the hair into the ears. So we'll leave that for now. And then I'm going to do, for the shield, I'm going to use the dark wood. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to use the hardened leather, hardened leather for the um, shield. Am I? Hmm. No, I'm going to use 
the uh, sand golem. So it looks like a light wood. Sorry, just trying to get this small weird spot underneath. Okay, let me then, just kind of looking at the picture, she has lots of different browns and maybe grays. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to do her cape gray. It's like, that's gray. And then on here, she's not wearing gloves, but on here I can see that she is she is wearing gloves. So, oh, I see now also where there is some skin exposed between the glove and the shirt. So I'll just do that area now too. Or maybe this is part of another shirt, I don't know, but we're gonna... We have the same thing on the other side. At least you don't make any funny faces when you focus on those tiny details. Are you sure? Maybe I do. You're just making, making it so that I don't feel like I do. <laughs> do you make funny faces, Brett, when you're doing the small details? Oh, um, this is an awkward spot. Okay. 
So I have the Gravelord Grey out already. So we're going to use that for the cape. I do need to add just a little bit more though. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the underside of the cape. I'm going to try to get in this little space without making a mess of anything. Okay. Love this color. I might also do the belt. Oh, I'm going to do the gloves this color as well. Um, and then I might do her belt this color as well all her accessories will be this color. <laughs> Oh, okay. Brett says, my painting as of yet has been uh, one space coat. I'm sure when I start, I'll, <laughs> it'll be something. One base coat. Okay. Oh, meaning like one solid color mini, like something like this, where it's like the whole mini is one color. Okay. Cool, cool. But you, you're, um, you, sorry, you said you're, you ordered the speed paint set, right? Or you're waiting until it's in stock, I believe you said. 
Oh, so you're new to painting. I see, I see. Okay. I'm going to go back and fix those ears now because it looks like a lot of the pooling from the hair has, has dried. So we can just, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, Rabbit says I could never do detail work. Eyes not good enough and hand not steady enough. But I'm definitely getting those paints to get some of my minis. My, sorry, to get some color on my minis. That's awesome. Yeah, because again, you can just do like solid colors. You don't have to do anything else, right? The shading and everything is all done for you. You don't have to do that detail work unless you want to. Yeah. Okay. So now she has a brown uh, jacket. So uh, I'm trying to do some different colors here. So we've done, maybe, no, maybe this is where I do the leather. No, and then it's going to be like this guy's outfit. Mm. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Okay, maybe I'll do... I'm going to do some dark wood with maybe the hardened leather mix or I'll do the hardened leather with like just one single drop of the dark wood just to make it a darker leather um, so it's not such a like a orangish brown it's more of like a darker leather but I, I want it to be different than like the hair color. Okay, and then just single, single little drop. It may be a similar color, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, no, that definitely changed it. It's not such an orangish brown, which is good. Okay. I'm going to paint the whole, um, the whole jacket like this, and it does have some what looks like buckles in that. I'm going to go back later with the metallic and do those into buckles or buttons. So I'm just going to make it easy for myself and not try to avoid them right now. I'll just uh, do the whole jacket and go back. Even the belt, actually, I'm going to do the belt too.
Oh, I touched part of the cape on the underside. That's okay. I think I can... I think I can fix that. It's fine. It's on the underside anyways. Go from this way. Then I won't make that mistake again. Uh, Arcee's asking, what would using the medium do? Would it make it lighter maybe? I don't know, have never painted before. Yes, I think it would It would make it lighter. All, um, yeah. So I think you can, you can, um, so it would kind of like water it down more and more. So the more of this that you add to the paint, it'll like make it thinner and thinner and thinner. So it won't really change the color. I think it'll just make it more and more translucent, translucent. So it won't be so dark. Um, but in this case, I wanted to kind of change the color, which is why I added two different colors together, which is cool that that works and doesn't change the chemistry of these paints. Okay. So I do like it. So like, just like looking at it quickly. So this is the hardened leather by itself that he, on his outfit. And that was just adding one drop of the, um, dark wood to it makes it definitely gives it a different shade. So they're not all going to look the same, which I like. I'm not even going to try that spot. Okay. Top half is almost done. Uh, I'm going to do the holster for her weapon, her knife, in that Gravelord Grey as well. The same color that all the rest of the accessories are, so... Okay, and then I'm going to use, I don't have any going on right now. I'm going to use the Grim Black just for uh, the outline of right around the blade and for her boots. We're gonna use the Grim Black. Oh, RC says, yeah, I really like these paints. I have many unpainted minis due to playing D&D. &D. Also definitely going to get the, or try these out. Awesome. Awesome. That's awesome to hear someone that has never painted before seeing these in action going, I think I'm going to pick them up because I think this will uh, make me want to paint. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, actually, oh, and I'll do the boots first because I already put paint on this brush. And then I'll use the finer detail brush to do around the base of the knife.
Okay, I think I'm going to use the dark wood on the pants. Okay. Just need to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, the blade of her knife. Oh, forgot a piece of her shirt. that I did with this one. This is not my paintbrush. When I hold it up, that's when I realize what I missed. Okay, then I'm just going to use the shining uh, Shining silver metallic for the blade of the sword or the knife. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm also going to just put a little bit of this as well in the center. So it almost is like what's holding this um, shield together. And then I'm going to use the finer brush to do, if you look at the uh, front of her um, jacket, she has little buckles. So I'm going to just do those as well in that seam. Just to add a little bit of detail. Okay. She's good. Awesome. Add her to the party. And these two, maybe I'll kind of just do at similar times. Like kind of do them together if I have uh, colors that they both will use. So these are the two characters that we have left. Okay, so it looks like it looks like he is a lot of like plate metal. Okay. Oh, the um, this dwarf Dwalin has uh, interesting texture in his, like he's got the braided beard as well. That's gonna look super cool. Okay. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do, because I think it'll take slightly longer to dry, is I'm going to do the plate metal here first. So I'm going to use uh, Army Painter uh, Plate Mail Metal. It goes off to the side. Oh, I'm paying attention. Uh, Matthew's asking, have I exper experimented with any basing products from Army Painter? I have not experimented with basing at all. Uh, it fascinates me, but I have not tried it at all. I think if I were to start, I would also, I would start with, um, there's this like sand that I've seen and people literally just glue the bottom put, or put whatever, I don't know all the products that need it, but they put this um, sticky stuff on it and then they just like twirl the base in this, what looks like sand and like small little rocks and then they just take it out and it has that on it. I was like, oh, that's neat, yeah. Excuse me. Light wire says, I popped in for a sec, I'll eventually watch this and paint along. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. What are you painting? Also welcome. What will you be painting when you paint along? I'm gonna put a little bit more because he has it on his all of his armor, which actually, looking at this mini, doesn't look like a ton. So this is not speed paints, but what I will do is just go over this with a wash, which is why I want to do it first, because it'll 
need to dry before I can go over it with a wash. Oh, painting clanked. Legacy minis. Nice. Nice. Oh, Matthew says they bought the Battlefields basing set from Army Painter. Seemed like a good starting point. Get a little bit of everything. Oh, I will have to look into that. It's something like I keep saying to Rob, oh, I'm, I want to look into this. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Have you used it, Matthew? And if, if so, do you find it makes a difference? I feel like I feel like if I was displaying them in a in a cabinet and people were coming to my house and or like in a display cabinet like Gen Con or something, I think in those cases it would look cool. But playing playing with them on the board, would you even notice or be able to see that kind of stuff? I don't know. I don't display any minis they'll just go back in the box yes white rabbit that is very true it's amazing how fast they come to life yeah with the speed paints for sure i love it And I think it looks like he's got some plate metal on the legs as well. There's a lot of details on this guy.
Okay, I'm going to do the uh, blade of the sword as well, the same color. Okay, and then I'm going to do the tip of his blade as well in that same metal. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Wire says, I'm still on my first mini and I started in like 2020. Although I've been painting it on and off. I spent like 30 hours on it. Just need to finish the finish, needs a finish and basing. That's awesome. Imagine spending that much time on a mini. I probably could. What's crazy is that even on after spending 30 hours on it, you're still going to like nitpick like, oh, I could have done this. I should have done this. Right. Lots of blood on the bait on the blade. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, white rabbit. That's so nice. Your work is so nice. It is too nice to go back in the box. I I do maybe want to do a display, but I feel like every game I paint, it gets like a little bit better. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, for the hair, for actually for both, I'm going to use this, uh, the Grim Black. It's almost like a um, very, very dark, dark hair. Is that not fur underneath his spear blade? Fur where? I might be losing it. Where is fur? Okay, so we're using the Grim Black. Get rid of that for now. And we're going to do the same color hair on both. Both of these guys. Let's move. Uh, let's move this up. So I can reach what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm going to move it.
<laughs> his hair kind of looks like a hair helmet <laughs> until I get like the skin and ears painted. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we just need the beard for this guy. Yeah, the detail in the braids is cool. I feel like given the choice, then Kyle will want to pick this guy. He goes for he goes for characters with beards. You can see the the braids in the beard, which is so cool. I feel like some of those details could get lost if not using these kind of paints. Okay. Um, I do uh, blood and gore. Okay. Um, the only one that I've added that to is Nemesis, which we haven't played yet. But I did add blood to um, like uh, some of the ends of the um, not like really blades, like like the spikes and stuff. Um, and then like around the mouth of some of the aliens. So I did do it for that. And I did add this like goo. Um, I think that's all I did. So those are the only ones that I've ever done any kind of blood or gore or anything like that. But a lot of the games I've painted, it hasn't been like, yes, there's fighting in that in, the, in these kind of games, but it's not, uh, it's not really... Like it's, if I was doing Zombicide, for example, I would probably do it a little bit more blood and gory. But like Lord of the Rings, 
like the characters, I don't I don't want to put like any blood on them, maybe on the enemies, but even then, I don't know. I don't know. So no. <laughs> Nemesis is the only one and you haven't seen it yet. Um, for both of their skin, or actually for the dwarf skin, I'm gonna use this Crusader skin and I'm gonna um um, because his skin is, sorry, is much lighter. I'm debating actually using, I'm debating actually for the, for his, is using that holy white, which kind of is almost like a ghostly gray. Maybe using that for him, but for, um, for Dwalin, I'm going to use his crusader skin. He doesn't have, oh, he has his hands. Okay. You're right, it won't be the shiny after war, but I'm going to put a wash on all of the metal pieces so that uh, in in the past, I could even do with the black, but I, I did, I used the, um, I have some, I have one that I can show you, one sec. Uh, this one. Um, so this guy I did like the plate metal as well, and then I did a gray wash on it. So it does look a little more like uh, tarnished and worn. Um, you can see like on the helmet and the chest plate and that. So I'm going to, I plan to do the same thing. <laughs> and trails hanging off the end of the blade. Uh, not for this game. <laughs> uh, RC says, now I'm super excited to see Nemesis. Any ballpark idea of when you guys think you're debuting that? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> they don't, I don't say anything without my lawyer present. No, I'm just kidding. I, um, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, maybe, no, I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh, okay. So then for his skin, which is, um, ooh, much paler than the dwarf, I'm going to go with the holy white and maybe one single drop of pallid bone. So it's not like a gray. It gives more of, um, Hopefully like a beige, very, very light. I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Cause I, I don't want him to look like gray.
Let me mix that first and see what I think it looks like. That might be okay. I'm going to try. If I don't like it, I can always paint over it with white. But um, so that is mixing those two together. Pallid bone and holy white. This color, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell until it's dry. But we'll see. Oh, he's got... He's got like a mustache going on as well. Yeah, this might be hard to tell. We'll see when this dries. If I'm not happy with the look of it, I'll just paint it white. I feel like it's something with his hair. Something is not working for me yet, but I'm not sure what. I think it's his hair. So I may paint over that with white. I'm not sure. <sighs> okay. Yeah, because maybe that needs to be more gray. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking that. The hair. It looks like a helmet. Oh, maybe this is not 100% dry yet. It's dry on the top, but not in the bottoms where it pooled a little bit, which is fine. And I probably need to go over this with two coats anyways, so... Yeah, I'm going to go over it again with another coat of white once that dries. But yeah, just definitely not happy with the hair helmet that was happening. Okay, let's go back to this guy. Wallen looks like he has a very dark brown or gray, but I think I'm going to do dark brown because I don't have... Yeah, I don't have anybody that's in, a, in the dark wood full. Um, they have accessories, but not in the full, so... It'll look different than the other than everyone else. I know, I could just paint it silver and then it's a helmet. Exactly. It did look like a helmet. It was bothering me. <laughs> but sometimes you don't always get it right the first time, right?
just gonna move him off to the side so he's not poking me. Okay, I'm going to choose shoes the same or boots the same color. I need a Mel's blood and gore tutorial. I think I just I just winged it. <laughs> uh, I'd have to probably Google it again. It's been a while since I painted that game. <laughs> you actually you haven't even seen it yet to know if it's something that you would even want a tutorial on. I maybe didn't do a good job. But those minis were fun to paint. Okay. Now... I'm going to do Oh yeah, I'm going to do uh Gravelord Gray on his shirt. This kind of looks like to me that he's got like a brownish hood with gray or it's like another brown, I don't know, but I'm going to do the Gravelord Gray. Oh, Matthew, that's so nice. By the way, I learned a lot from the fire explanation in the Siege Towers. And I didn't even do them. I, looking back there, I 
probably should have. The one thing I would have done is I would have thinned down the paints more and then kept building on them. Um, that's what I would have done differently. But I haven't painted too much fire, just a little bit. I'm still experimenting and um, expanding on that. But that's kind of just the basics of what I do. And then you can kind of expand on that in practice. Touching the spear. Just not. Not what I want to be doing. My hands are getting shaky. Okay. Just going to do a little bit of the under. So it blends into the boots. Okay. Then it looks like the band around his head is red. So we're going to go back to that slaughter red. <laughs> Spank me has an interesting question. Okay, so I just got this game and I want to paint it. However, I've never painted, so where to begin? That's a tough question. Um, that is a tough question. So they do make, different companies make uh, different like paint starter sets. Um, you may want to look into that uh, and get, because it kind of gives you some of your base colors. And then you can kind of expand from there. Uh, there's some colors I would say that that you need to have, if you were not going to buy a little like mini starter set that had some colors already in it, you may want to get some just basic colors for whatever the game is that you're going to paint to start. So you might want like some browns, 
a black, a gray, a white, those kind of colors based on the game you're playing or painting. But I do think the starter sets are pretty reasonably uh, inexpensive. And they give you some of like your base starter colors. Um, you could also start with the speed paints, which I um, was mentioning in the beginning. Um, you could start with the speed paints. The only thing to note is that you will still probably need a few additional side colors. And I'm just sorry, um, I'm going to just paint the little um, clasp around the beard gold while I'm talking. Um, you will want to have like a black, a dark gray, maybe for doing your bases. And you might need whatever color you plan on priming your mini. So if it's white, you might want a matte white or a white paint, um, like a uh, bottle so that you can touch up any mistakes because with the speed paints uh, if you're if you're using the speed paints um, a lighter color over a darker mistake so I touched the um, I touched the can barely see it but I touched the so uh, the staff here with the black if I were to use something like a yellow over it you'll still see that spot so you would want a white to um, cover any mistakes so if you're going to start with speed paint, which is not a terrible idea, you just want to get a few of your base color um, paints as well. So I would at least say a black and a white at minimum. And then you can go from there if you want to get any kind of like metallics or any kind of um, like any kind of um, metals or, or silvers or anything like that for painting um, like the staffs and the spears and the knives that but again um when when i started i started with a bigger set because i kind of knew i wanted to do it so i would also make sure you want to do it before you start spending all the money and i'm just going to do the one that's underneath if i can reach as well But yeah, I see in the, in, the, in the chat, they're recommending to start with speed paints. Speed paints is, is not a bad place to start for sure. You get the, um, you get a whole bunch of paints. You get uh, a brush as well, which is awesome. And it does, so you don't need any washes. You don't need any highlights, anything like that. And and this whole set that I've been painting through these this series that I've been doing is all with Army Painter speed paints. And then just some touches of metals and golds and that and uh the white that i've used to fix my mistakes but other than that i've used the entire speed paints to do it okay and then for the staff handle we're just going with the hardened leather no i don't want to do that I think I'm going to, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the grim black. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking that, um, RC is to do the handle in black, but then the wraps do the same as the headband. I was thinking that. Or do a gold or something. Yeah. Oh, Lightwear says I got the Army Painter Hobby Starter Paint Set. I don't remember exactly. I don't think I have the link for it open, but uh, the one that I got, but it was um, it was kind of like their mega starter set that I got, I got when I originally started. Might be. No, I don't think so. And then since then, I've when I go to a hobby store, I just kind of look at what they have and what colors, what colors am I mixing in order to get certain colors. So, for example, it didn't have a pink in my set. And no, I don't use pink very often, but like sometimes inside, like for a tongue or, or something, I would use a pink. And 
one time when I was at the hobby store, I was like, oh, I'm going to grab a pink because I'm so sick of mixing, you know. So I've taken what I have and then now I just keep slowly adding to it. Says, <laughs> I want to be the dwarf guy. Can I come and play? LOL. I only live in Ohio. Oh, we like Ohio. Um, <laughs> yeah, this dwarf guy looks cool, but I think if you want to be the dwarf guy, you're going to have to fight with Kyle over it. Because I think that he's going to pick this guy because of the beard. But also, RC, we live in Canada, so that will be a uh, quite the drive every time you <laughs> every time we play. <laughs> oh, hi, Jess, you're back. How was your dinner? Yep, still going. We got all these characters done. This guy's just about done. And then this guy, I made. Oh, I can actually do a quick. I made uh, some changes on this guy because I didn't like. Didn't like what was happening. I did the hair way too dark and then I didn't I didn't like it. Also, quick quick update. The skin color looks okay. So we'll just get this hair back to white and we'll do it in a different color. Now, one thing to note, we likely, because we are painting over, we primed it, and then we put the speed paints out, and then I made the mistake with the speed paints. I didn't like the color. So then I'm painting over with white again. We're probably going to lose a little bit of the detail in here, but and then when we go over it again, but it, it's okay. I can, I can live with that. Not have them look strange. Okay, well, we got his hair back to white. We'll fix the skin around the face as well, where it kind of got a little messed up, and we're going to try that again, because that was not what I wanted at all. White Road is asking, would I have started with speed paints if it was available to me at the time? Um, and if, I, if it was available to me at the time and I had seen it, um, you know what I might have? Yeah. I might have because I'm a slow painter and uh, in my very first videos that I did live, there, I had a lot of questions about washes. I still do. I'm still um, not that great. I still sometimes have to Google, okay, I painted yellow. What color wash or what tone of wash should I use? Um, so I may have, yeah. But again, if you are starting with something like that, my advice is to just pick up a few of your base base colors. And a lot of a lot of uh, hobby stores, you can get just a single paint. From I know Army Painter. I mean, in in Canada, I think they're like four dollars. Um, and this is still my first. Uh, yeah, I think this is still my first white. Um, I haven't had to get another one yet. Black, I've had to get another one, but that would be my only advice because. With the, with the speed paints, if you make a mistake, that's the only way you're going to be able to fix it or else, unless you don't care, maybe you don't care, then that's fine too.
Okay. Try to do that kind of carefully. A little bit under the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that same red that we use on the headband around the wrap as well. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, how do I clean my brushes between colors? I just use water. It's dirty now because I've been using it all day, but uh, or all night, but yeah, just, just water. And then I clean my brushes after I have, um, what's called pink soap, I think it's called. Uh, I use, I use that. I now also, I don't remember where I put the red slaughter. So we're just going to put another little dollop on it. Um, so using that one. Yeah, I like the look with the wrap around it, yeah. Let me get the smaller brush to try to go underneath without touching other things. Okay, I think he's good. I like this character. Looks cool. Okay. This guy, I'm still, I'm still thinking on this guy. So what I'm going to do, so I don't make myself crazy and I want to fix the hair a little bit more is I'm going to put him off to the side. We're going to finish this guy in the next stream, which is already scheduled on Monday. I'm not even going to think about this guy right now because it's just going to make me mad. And we'll do a few more small details on these guys basing uh, or not basing, like just painting the bases and everything before before we uh, finish up. So one thing while I have that slaughter red, I just want to do the inside of this bear's mouth with that. 
trying to avoid, if I can, trying to avoid the teeth. Just to add some detail there. Okay, I'm also going to take matte black and I'm going to do like just a dot on the inside of the eyes. Oh, thank you so much. Dwarf does look cool. Yeah, I think actually both of these dwarfs look really cool. I would, I would be happy to play any of these dwarfs. Both look neat. I'll do, um, before I do the bases, I'll do one last show of them. Once I do the bases, I won't want to pick them up again. <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit of black to the eyes just to darken them a little bit. And then for him, I'm going to take this color Troll, troll Claws and I'm just going to do the uh, nails with this color. And you don't need to do any of this stuff, but I just uh, want to do, do a few small details to some of them to bring out some of the details and not make them look super plain. Oh, correction, Took is a hobbit, not a dwarf. That is correct. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I need to put that down like that for a second because my hands are shaking. Okay, so just adding the claws, just a little bit of detail. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, let's fix that one little spot I missed, is I'm going to use a little bit of a, let's use a strong tone wash. Uh, this is the Army Painter Quick Shade Strong Tone Wash. I'm just going to use just a tiny bit inside the mouth because I don't want the teeth to be so like pearly white. I want them to be like a little bit dingy. So. Just as I wonder if Rob uh, lost his Spirit Island game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure he'll tell you tomorrow if he won or lost his test games. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to 
add just a little bit inside the mouth so he doesn't have like pearly white teeth. I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom. And then I'm just going to try to stop up any excess that's pulling here. Oh my gosh, Matt, that's funny. Thank you for doing the nails and teeth with yellow. I did white and my sister said monsters do not get their nails and uh, their nails done or go to the dentist. I know that's what I was thinking when it was like super white. I think it just looks more... Um, You know, a little more scary, dingy. And then the only other thing I'm going to try is just on the paws, I'm going to take that slaughter, uh, slaughter red that we, we used, and I'm just going to put, I, I, this might ruin it, but if it, I don't think so. I'm just going to put a little bit, and I'm going to be super careful. And I'm almost like dotting it instead of rubbing it because I just want to um, add this so it looks like uh, just changes the color of the paw so it's like but I don't want to reactivate the paint underneath. And I didn't want to do pink like normally you would think like the paw is like pink, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want it to look like a silly, silly bear. Okay. Just adds a little more color. Okay. So then for bases for all of the characters, so I did all of the enemy bases in the um, Necromancer's Cloak, which is kind of my go-to, which is kind of like a very dark gray. But for the characters, all the characters I'm going to base in a full solid black, if I can, right here, if I can find it, um, just so that they're different than the, um, different than the enemies. And also usually with the solid black, I can do it in one coat instead of having to do maybe two coats of the um, gray.
Okay. Good to go. Uh, let's just quickly look at this guy. I don't think this guy really had any details I needed to worry about, so we might just be able to base them. Let's see. Yeah, I think he was pretty basic, so we can just do a quick base on him and he's good. Yep, he doesn't have any kind of buckles or anything, so... Okay, this guy is also done. I cannot remember. Um, someone was asking, um, I'm just going to, I think this guy's ready too, so I'm just going to put the base on this guy while I, I say what I'm thinking here. Um, somebody was asking about what I clean my brushes with. The one thing that I um, have been doing lately is I have these little dropper bottles that we got. And I put water in this to add to paints if needed. So for the speed paints, I don't add any paints. And for like basing and that I don't. And that's all I've really done is like, uh, excuse me, is done basing and like a little bit of detail. I haven't actually done any painting where I would need that today. But that way I don't have to use this dirty water that I'm cleaning my brushes with to add to the paint. I can, I can, and I can be a little more strategic of how much I use. So if I want to do like a 50-50 mix, I can just use this dropper bottle to drop the water into the paints. Be a little more precise and it's clean water. Because if I'm using my dirty water, that might have a, a tinge of color that it's going to add to the color that I'm trying to water down. Sorry, I can't remember who was asking about that. I mean, he does not skip leg day. No, it does not. <laughs> or arm day. Got some pretty big arms there, too. Or like defined, I guess. I think hmm. think for a minute on that one. Okay, this elf. I'm just looking if there's any details or anything that I want to add before I base. I think I just want to um, 
I just want to do the wraps on the uh, case and then the buckles. So I still have the gold out, so that's good. I just want to do a couple, couple buckles here. I am going to do them in a dark stone. Oh, well, this one is plugged. This one is plugged. We're going to change our mind because that one's plugged. We're going to go with an oak brown. And while I have that, I'm just going to actually do the bottom as well. It has this little design on the bottom, so it'll stand, make it stand out a little bit more. No, I'm not going to do the top part. RC saying maybe a wash on the bow itself to change it slightly from the boots. And yeah. I can do that. Let's do... I have already... I don't even know where I put it, so we're going to just put it again. I'm losing my mind. We'll use the strong tone again for that. Sorry, the lights there. Yeah, because that will darken it to make it a slightly different color. And then I think we can just do a base on this one. I'm try not to touch that.
Okay. For her, we'll do one last spin. I think she was good because we already did uh, the detail work on her. I did some of the, the silver already. This character is really cool looking. I like it. We'll do a base. Okay. Still going marathon, marathon session today. Yeah, we're just finishing up. I think this is the last one. I just need to base. I think she's fine. I was thinking about doing the straps, but I think I'm going to I'm going to leave it. Maybe if I do anything, I will just do the straps, but I'm still like between the bust, but I'm still debating. So sometimes I like to like think on it. And if we add anything or change anything, we can always just update in, in the next stream. So we're just going to do a base on her she's good to go Okay. Marcy says, they all look so good and you make it look so easy. You definitely have motivated me to finally give painting a shot. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Ultra Violetta says, there really is something satisfying watching a base get painted. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that is our progress for today. That is good. I was hoping to get all of them done. This guy, I'm still kind of hemming and hawing about what to do with, with him. So I'm going to think on that. We'll, we'll worry about him in the next stream. It's okay. So yeah, I feel very good. We have all of our characters painted pretty much. We have, I would say, almost all of our enemies painted. We have our towers painted, our elephant. We just have a few of the warriors and orcs that are left. So those I'm going to paint in the next stream, which is already scheduled for Monday. You can uh, set a reminder for that already. Um, let me actually take a drink and go to the other one and answer any final questions. Before I get out of here and go to bed.
Uh, yeah, so the next paint stream is already scheduled again for Monday. You can set a reminder already. Um, if you want to join in future painting live streams, which are going to be happening, I'm hoping to do it more of a regular weekly kind of thing. Uh, if you want to join in on those, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you get notified when we go live. Um, tomorrow, Rob is streaming Spirit Island. So if that's something you're into, make sure you tune in for that. I'm sure I missed a few questions uh, while I was painting if my head was down. If I did, you can either leave them in the comments below or you can join me on the next one and you can re-ask your question and hopefully I'll catch it that time. Uh, excuse me, I'll, I'll catch it next time. But yeah, thank you again so much to Army Painter for sending the, the both sets, the uh, starter set and the mega set over to me. I uh, really, really appreciate that. It's been so much fun to feature the speed paints on the channel going through and painting this whole series. Uh, or the whole uh, expansion. And the series has kind of been fun to actually paint right from the beginning all of the minis in this expansion uh, in a weekly episodes. That's been kind of fun and I've really liked doing that. So um, maybe it's something that will continue if you guys are watching and you like these videos. Uh, also, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, all of our Patreon members and YouTube uh, members as well uh, for supporting the channel. Thank you so, so much. And for the people that gave super, chat, super chats today to Jess and Kanji, thank you so much. Mel, MVP, most valuable painter. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm losing my marbles now. I'm getting tired almost 11 o'clock our time so i'm gonna be off to bed in a minute uh yeah so again thank you so much to army painter for sending the paints over thank you guys for watching um click that like button if you like these videos and i can can keep keep doing them if you guys are watching and liking the videos uh yeah if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments below and i will get to them as soon as i can thanks so much everyone have a great night bye